and welcome back to Lake Life with Jordan. My name is Jordan McCaffrey and I'm a realtor with the Signature Realty Group at Remax Lake of the Ozarks. So today I want to talk to you home sellers. Those, well, not really. Those of you thinking about becoming home sellers. Those of you looking around the market and being like, it's insane. I should probably sell because I want to downsize or I want a bigger house or I want Jordan to list my home, right? You guys, here are a couple reasons why Pricing really matters. These are reasons that you don't want to underprice or overprice your home in today's market. So let's start with underpricing. There are a couple things that can happen if you underprice your home. Like, say you're looking at the market and you're like, wow, I think that I'm going to drop my house into this bowl of piranhas and then they're all going to attack each other, right? Don't be that guy. You want to know why? Because of a couple things. If you put it really low and somebody buys it for that amount, then you could be losing out on a lot of money that you could be putting toward a down payment on your next place, that you could be using to maybe buy another investment property, things like that. So that's one thing, you could be leaving money on the table. Another thing is the buyers can look at that and be like, wow, that's a super nice house for really little money. And I feel like there's a reason for that. Like, is there a foundation issue? Is there a roof issue? Am I gonna find out about something like halfway through this that's gonna make me not want to buy it? Then there's the issue of overpricing your home, right? Because you're like, wow, people will pay anything. And don't be that guy either, because a couple things can happen if you overprice it instead of pricing it at market value. You could deter some buyers because if you go in a certain price range, people are people who are looking for a certain price aren't gonna look at your house. You could run into longer days on the market, which tends to scare people, especially in a market like the one we're in. Or you could have to go through a bunch of price reductions and no one wants that. No one, because that's another red flag. Like, well, why, why isn't anyone buying it? It's a great house. I don't understand. I don't want to look at it. And just internally, people think that. Those are a couple of reasons not to overprice your home. Now, if you price it at market value, right, then some very beautiful things could happen. You could have multiple offers, N not necessarily, but you have the possibility. Your house could sell at the amount you actually want out of your house, out of your number, or it may go over, and you have less days on the market less days of strangers walking in and out of your house. I know it's weird. I'm one of those strangers. I go in, I'm like, oh, look at my pictures. Yeah. So less days of people going through your house and saying how you live and all that. So less days in the market, better chance of getting what you want. There you go. There, there are some solid reasons. Now the biggest, biggest part of pricing is getting an agent who is familiar with your area, who is going to price your home appropriately, because especially here at the lake, nothing is, there's there's a lot of variables, okay? You can't just look at square footage and be like, well, my house is this many square feet, so I'm gonna list it for this much. There's topography, there's your dock if you're lakefront, there's how much lake frontage do you have? Is it like this or is it nice and gradual, right? Like, is it a gentle slope to the water or do I have to have a harness and go, jump off of the cliff. Like there's things like that. What's the condition of your house? What updates have you, there's so many things that go into pricing. Pricing isn't like, I'm just gonna add up square footage and that's it. Talk to an agent in your market who is, is educated with what houses in your area are going for. So that's my two cents. Take it or leave it, it's up to you. There you go. There are a couple things for you to keep in mind when you are thinking about selling your home. Pricing is a huge deal. It's a vital part of listing your house. So make sure that you're talking to an agent in your area who specializes in your area. Make sure that they're local because the local agents, they we live and we breathe this area. So give us a call. We're always here. Well, not we, I, I am always here at the lake. Um, if you're in a different part of the country, let me know. I can hook you up with somebody who's also great. But yeah, my contact information is gonna be at the bottom of this video. Anyone you ready to make that move? Give me a call.